Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. All right, this beginner workout is gonna be a knee-friendly workout. So a lot of the lower body exercises are taking into account that we're not gonna squat, we're not gonna lunge, but we're gonna do exercises to really target all of those leg muscles. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. I'm also gonna use something to sit on. Okay, we'll do some sit squats. So a bench, a box, a chair should work. Your format is gonna be 40 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between, and we're gonna hit everything for two rounds. All right, we'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. Hey, if you're looking for upper body for tomorrow, here's a suggestion. You can click or tap the card at the top of the screen and try that one. But for today, let's do this one and move daily. Very good, I'm gonna hit strength on my watch here today and let's warm things up, starting with some hip openers. All the way up and around as if you're coming up and over a chair is great. And let's go from the back to the front now. So bring it up and around. Just really getting that ball and socket warmed up in the hip, okay? Two more here. Very good. Hold on to something. Knee is soft. And we're gonna extend out behind us for a glute kick, 15 per leg. Five more here. Foot is flexed. Switch your side, knee is soft, and back. Five more. Very good, come to the front. We're gonna push Step right here, just get some blood flow going. Now overhead press right here. And into butt kick right here. And high knee right here. Okay, one more round, push here. Overhead reach, right here. Butt kick, here we go, right here. And high knee for 10. All right, wide stance. And let's touch our toes, opposite hand to foot. Here. And again, holding on to something for balance. We're gonna lift that leg up and then out in this swinging door and down. Up, out, in, that's two. We've got six each side. All right, three more here. Open, two, last one here. Up, open, in, and switch your side, knee is soft. Bring it up, open, in and down. Last one here. And 
up to the tiptoes here. Right up, swing those arms, 15 here. Last five. Good, and if you have something to lean against, like a wall, put your feet about half a foot away or a foot away, and we're gonna lift the toes up. If you don't have anything, stand and lift your toes up. We're getting that tibialis anterior, your shin warmed up here. This is great for knee health, to have a strong muscle there. We rarely train it, so this is good for that. You can do these throughout the day as well. It's hard, five more. Four, do you find it hard? I know, right? Two and one, very good. All right, we're getting started. Grab your chair or bench right away and we're gonna start with those sit squats. Okay, you could grab a weight or you don't have to hold any weights if you don't want. We're gonna start with a narrow up and wide sit squat, all right? Shoulders back, nice and tall, and we press to stand, sit all the way down, Press to stand. All right. Now, if just one way or the other feels better on your knees, then just choose one way or the other. Otherwise, we're alternating here. And you're pushing straight up to the ceiling, right? As soon as you put pressure on those feet, you drive up. Okay, think up. And of course, this could be done without a weight as well. Just don't put your hands on your legs. All right, I'm gonna take this same weight and move into a dead left. So wide stance, we're gonna hinge at the waist with a flat back and then come to standing. I'll show you the side view. Reach your hips back and we're slow. Two, up, two. Reach, reach, up, up. So your knees are soft but your legs are straight and you're reaching the hips back as though you are shutting a car door shut with your butt, okay? Really flat back here. Set that weight down. We're gonna go a little bit lighter here. I'm just gonna hold a five. All right, I'm gonna reach and knee, reach and twist. Reach and knee, reach and twist. I'll call half, and you're here. Knee and twist. Knee and twist. Now, if it's too tippy with the twist, just give me the knee. Last one here, and switch your leg. Drive your knee, add the twist. Knee, twist. Okay, it was slightly tippy for me. I just, uh, I think next round I'll be better. Sometimes you just have to warm up those proprioceptor Muscles there, all right. Sit squats, wide and narrow. Press up and wide right here. I wanna be sure that my shin is perpendicular to the floor, right? That's why I drive straight up and I don't lean forward, right? It's right off the seat and press and press. Holding that 12 still for my deadlifts. Again, knees are soft, reaching the hip back, back is super flat. Holding my dumbbell in the center, and we're slow, 
slow, slow and stand. Don't arch your back at the top. Setting that weight down and going into the knee drive and twist. Again, if that twist is throwing off your balance, feel free to stick with the knee drive. I'll call half, I'm holding the five. Tap it back and we reach knee and twist. Switch sides. Very good, a 30 second water break. Grab a drink, pause the video if you need longer. And we're heading down to the ground. I'm gonna bring a 15 down there for our glute thrusts. Okay, glute thrusts, here on your back. Feet are closer to your bottom. I'm gonna put this dumbbell across my pelvis. Pelvis, of course you don't need any. And we're gonna thrust and pulse at the top. Ready, and you're up, pulse and drop. Up, pulse and squeeze and drop. Really putting your mind in those glute muscles here. All right, remove that dumbbell. We're gonna go into a hamstring march. So now, instead of feet being close to the bottom, walk them away. We're gonna alternately kick them to the ceiling, just like that. So up and bridge, and we kick, switch and kick. All right, the further you can put your heel away from your bottom, the more you're gonna feel that in the hamstring and that glute ham tie-in. Okay, you can hold the side of your mat if you need, just so you're not slipping. This is a great way to isolate the single leg. Push those hips up. And stay down here for our clamshell. All right, from this position, we're opening and closing. I'm gonna come up to that knee and then all the way down, but you can stay on the ground like this, depending on your fitness level. Here we go, so it's up and down. And I'll call half and then we'll switch sides. One more here and flip. Other side, here we go and reach. reach. Good, working that adductor muscle on the top your glute, of course, on the bottom. Back to the top with your glute thrust on your back again. I've got that 15 on my pelvis. Feet are close to my bottom. Again, no weight is fine. And we'll pulse at the top. Up, pulse, and drop. You're pushing through your heel or a flat foot here.
Really squeezing your glutes at the top. Okay, good, into that hamstring march. So again, feet come a little bit away from your bottom now, and you're alternating that kick to the ceiling. Let's work, and we press up, switch up, straight up. And into that clamshell, but this time we'll do 40 seconds per leg, okay? Need a little bit of that progressive overload in order to allow the muscle to adapt and grow and be challenged. Ready, here we go, and you're up. Remember, you can take this right from the ground, just work that top leg, or do the advance like this. Well, advanced beginner, I guess. If we wanted to really kick this up, you could add a mini band on, right? Or a dumbbell up at the top of your thigh here to add tension. Stay with me, about 15 seconds. Let's fire, switch. Right, feet together, knees close, and we'll pop this up. Flip this back over now for the third circuit. You're gonna come onto that elbow again. Inner thigh leg lift this time, okay? Just there, flex the foot, targeting inner thigh. And again, we'll do 40 seconds per leg. You're here. All right, nice little pulses. All right, so if you're adding tension, like say a mini band or again an ankle weight, you may not need as long, but when it's body weight, sometimes it's a bit easy. So we add time as our way to progressively overload. And it does it, and it works well. <laughs> See, there's the burn right there. Ooh, yep. Switching sides. All right, flexing the foot, nice and tall. All right, and lift right here, and Here's we're up. No, Siri. Stay with me here. Good fire. All right, sit up. So we were just doing this leg. Now we're gonna do this leg in our leg raise. Nice, 
tall seated leg raise and I'll call half here. All right, shoulders back and we lift. Little target of the hip flexor, but also that quad muscle as we're flexing it here. Stay tall, just little ones here. Almost there. Three, two, one. Switch legs and lift. Sit up tall. Good. Okay, a little stretch here if you'd like. We'll go back to that inner thigh leg lift. Let's give it a little stretch there for a second. All right, on your side, 40 seconds per side. Flex your foot. Good, and we lift and lift. Stay with me here. Really want to make sure that that foot is flexed out so we're targeting that inner thigh. Okay, not the quad on this one. Three, two, one. Very good. All right, flip that over. Here we go, and lift. Well, 15 seconds here, definitely feeling that inner thigh work here for sure. All right, give that a hug. Ooh, a little stretch if you'd like. And we're gonna go into that seated leg raise here for quad and hip flexor. So switching legs back, sit tall, grab this knee. And we lift and lift. Definitely feel that quad in that flex position. Three, two, one, switch legs and lift. All right, grab those knees in. We're gonna stand for the next circuit here, and I'll give you a little water break, so grab a drink, check out the next exercises, and join me back. All right, we're gonna to go to a leg extension. If you could hinge forward on something like your chair, we're gonna lift that leg up here. All right, I don't want you to lift it up so that you're arching your back. Just lift it up in a way that you're squeezing that glute. Knee is soft and we lift and lift, good. Yeah, so that stationary leg's got a softness in the knee and you'll feel that isometric contraction on the glute there as well. A few more here, switch your side, good, and lift. Grab my lighter weights for this elbow to knee front kick combo. So, little quad, a little hip flexor here, and then we'll kick it out. Stay on the same side until I call half. So, elbow to knee, then kick hand to toe, same side, 
If you can't kick high, you're here, all right? Otherwise, reach it here. Good. Last one on this side. Now switch elbow to knee, hand to toe. Very good, all right. Now we're gonna do a full 40 on each side for both exercises. So again, hinging forward, nice flat back, and that glute leg lift. All right, 40 seconds, and we lift, and lift. Bottom knee is soft. Stay with me on this side. Ooh, see, it really makes a difference, doesn't it? Kick it up just a little bit. Feel that burn. All right, take a rest for a second. Shake it out. We're gonna switch legs. Even body weight can feel substantial when you add more volume by duration. All right, flat back and we kick. Stay with me. Good, it does not take much to fatigue that glute. All right, again, 40 seconds per side this time. All right, elbow to knee, then that front kick, core engaged and you're here, and kick, same side. <clears throat> you're also getting a little isometric contraction with your stationary glute, right? It's holding your body up, it can't move right now and that can bring good muscle fiber recruitment. I feel mine burning. Stay with me. All right, shake that out, switching sides. Elbow to knee, hand to toe, and we twist, kick. All right, set those weights down, shake it out, and join me for the last circuit. We're gonna start with that lateral shuffle here to the knee, all right? Really important to do that lateral movement. It's not a movement we're typically used to, but it's good to practice this. Shoulders back, and we're one, two, three, elbow to knee. Good. Now, if it doesn't bother your knees and you wanna get a little bit lower, feel free to do that. Activate the glutes a bit more. Otherwise, you're tall. Here, one, two, 
three and Alright, seated, inner thigh leg lift. So on your bench or chair, you're going to lean back. We're going to turn the foot to face the ceiling and we're going to alternate that leg lift here. Ready? And lift. And lift. Good. So leaning back slightly, you can activate those abs a little bit, but you could sit up and just bring the legs up. The knee goes out. The foot is flexed and facing the ce ceiling there. Very good, and into that rainbow. All right, nice glute exercise here. On all fours, leg is straight. We're gonna create that rainbow okay, shape with our back foot. I'll call half and then we'll switch. Straight leg here and we lift and tap and tap. It's like it's going up and over a small bench or something. But don't arch the back, it's just a little arc. All right, one more here. Switch your leg. Straight leg up and tap. Very good. Make your way to standing. That could be done on the bench as well. You get a little bit more of a dip there, which is nice if you have a bench. All right, lateral shuffle to that knee, and we're one, two, three, tap. All right, seated position again. Inner thigh leg lift, leaning back. Okay, feet are up in that frog position. We're lifting. Nice little inner thigh activation here as well. So you're up, switch. Again, if your bench doesn't let you hold on, just sit up tall, lift the legs right here. And your final rainbow, I'm gonna do mine on the bench this time just to show you. All right, nice flat back. Make sure you're stable if you're using a bench or an elevated surface. I'll call half. Back leg is straight. And we rainbow up and over. Good. Three, two, switch legs. Almost there, folks. Stay with me. Last three, two, 
One and done. Ooh, good glute. <laughs> you move daily in your beginner leg knee friendly workout. So that was good. Join for a stretch and we'll take it to the ground. All right. Fabulous. Let's lay on the back. Okay. On your back, flex your foot, lengthen through that hamstring, draw that knee close towards you. Okay. Good. I find that when I have to eliminate the weights or make it knee friendly, I do target a lot of glutes because there's a lot of like exercises you can do on the ground that it aren't squat and lunge oriented that are really great for glutes, right? It's harder to get quads, right? Generally speaking, I'll do a front lunge, a step up or a front weighted squat to target my quads. You could do some leg extensions. Um, let's let that one leg fall all the way over to the side here. That's nicer done on a machine in a gym. Like I've done it before where you put the dumbbell between your feet and then you do the raises, but it's tricky and the dumbbell's slippery and it's weird sometimes. So you could do like, um, if you had ankle weights, let's let the leg fall to the other side now. Try to keep your shoulder blades on the ground. So, but it just kind of goes to show there are a lot of different exercises that can tar target a lot of different muscle groups, which is really great and important to get that overall targeting of those muscle groups for sure. I'm gonna put those feet together, let the knees kind of open up. All right, just let them fall gently. Uh, that said, there are lots of things that we can do to strengthen that area around the knees. We just had a um, strength and conditioning coach on, on my membership, Hug the Knees here. Uh, the members haven't seen it yet, but the, we filmed it all and it's gonna come out for them in May when we do our focus on strength, our strength month. Uh, at any rate, he showed so many great exercises. Come to seated here. Uh, let's sit up tall here and just hinge forward. So many great exercises to strengthen again, the shin, the calf, right? And the teardrop shaped muscles, the vastus muscles on the top of the patella, the top of the knee, and how to modify things. So sometimes we think, well, we can't do a lunge, but could you do an elevated surface lunge where you are taking away the brunt of the body weight. So it's not as challenging or painful for the knee, but it's a good starting point in order to practice those actions that are going to be necessary for your life. If you plan on walking up and down stairs, we're gonna to need to have that available to us. So I think it's important to strengthen that area as best you can. Uh, you might have to go to a PT or, you know, hire a specialist to help you so that you're not, don't injure yourself. Uh, but it's important to keep that moving and strengthening. Uh, another thing that is important too, again, is the calf muscle and that tibialis anterior. So it's calf raises, it's tibialis raises. So we did that in our intro and doing that every day is really going to help strengthen that lower part of the leg, which often doesn't get much action. So Anyway, whatever you can do to strengthen, I think is important, but of course, always work within your own abilities. Pay attention to what your health professional says. Thanks for joining. I recommend Upper Body for Tomorrow. You can click or tap right there and try that one. See ya in the next workout.